Hey, what's going on everyone? How's it going? So today I thought I would bring you a little bit of discussion on preflop ranges in tournaments, which is going to be a lot more preflop sort of situations, and I find a very interesting one here in the Bounty Ability 33. This is a video that just came out on my YouTube channel the other day. So I open the sevens under the gun, and I'm sitting on 26 big blinds, right? Sevens is a pretty good hand, and we get re-raised from Bada233, who is sitting on a little bit less than us to start the hand, and we're faced with the decision here. What exactly are we going to do? And it's easy to sort of take a look at this situation and be like, we have sevens. Sevens are really good. It's a pair. It's uh, a bounty builder tournament. We should just go all in here. But I think it deserves some, some breaking down. So we have three options. We can go all in, we can call, or we can fold. Let's talk about call first because I think it's the easiest to rule out. So if we call, we're, we're not going to be able to try and set mine here. It would be 1,000 to win 2,300, right? Which is good, but if we call 1,000, we're only going to have 3,300 left. Bada has 3,000, so we're not going to flop our three of a kind enough. Now let's also think about what types of hands Bada can have. What is their range here? So we're opening sevens, we're probably opening sixes plus, we're opening some suited Broadway type hands and uh, and your ace kings, your ace queens, stuff like that. Bada is re-raising us to a size where they're not gonna fold to an all in. And they're under the gun plus one. They have a definite range advantage here. So if we decide to go all in, they're gonna have better hands on average. They're gonna have the tens, the jacks, the queens, the kings, the aces, the ace king, and maybe the ace queen as well. And that's about it here. So our sevens are doing really poorly against that and we can't hunt for the bounty. So calling isn't gonna work. And we sort of just ruled out, <laughs> as I mentioned, uh, we kind of just ruled out all in because they have too many strong hands here. So even though we have pocket sevens and it's a bounty builder tournament, we have to recognize the range is too strong, re-raising under the gun plus one, and we have to fold. So tough spot, but hopefully you guys learned uh, a little bit there. And uh, yeah, there we go.